Well, the weekend is finally here, and if you're looking to catch a movie this weekend, of course, we want to give you a look at what our local theaters have going on. And here now to give us a look at what's going on at movie theaters here in Metro Detroit is film critic, co-host, and executive producer of Movie Show Plus, Tom Santilli. Tom, great to see you again. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Kevin. Good to be here, man. Well, all right, it's Friday again, and over the last month, it seems like all we've been talking about is Spider-Man and Scream. They've both been in theaters right. dominating the box office about over the last month. Uh, last couple of weeks of January, they're notoriously slow for movies, though. What can people yeah. find in theaters now? Yeah, right now, I mean, if people are, you know, wanting to even, you know, brave the pandemic and go out to the theaters, uh, they're usually doing it for Spider-Man or Scream. But uh, I wanted to highlight this week a, a bunch of other things. You know, there are a lot of local theaters that uh, have been struggling. And, and to be quite honest, it's short of miraculous that a lot of these theaters are able to still function two years into this thing. Um, but they continue to be creative with what they're bringing. And I, I just wanted to highlight a couple of these things. Um, the first being uh, the, one of my favorite local theaters is the Redford Theater, of course, in Redford. Uh, they have stuff going on every weekend. You can check out their stuff at theredfordtheater.com. But they, they're actually doing right now uh, a Coen Brothers weekend coming up. Next weekend, they're going to be doing a screening of Fargo, the classic film, as well as Raising Arizona uh, back to back days next weekend. So that will be cool. Then you have over at the Maple Theater in Bloomfield Hills. Uh, they do a thing that if you're not aware of it, it's really cool. It's called Secret Cinema. They do it every Thursday, the first Thursday and the third Thursday of every month. And what you do is you don't know what the movie is. <laughs> and you go in and you don't know what it is until it starts playing. Uh, every the, the first Thursday is always like an old Hollywood movie. The th third Thursday is always like a newer Hollywood movie. They have a host. I've hosted it before. After the film, they do a Q&A with the host. So it's really a good time. And you get to kind of catch up on some classic movies that maybe you haven't seen otherwise. I love that idea. Uh, and, yeah, yeah it's, it's super cool. You know, because it seems like it's so, you have to make so many decisions when you're streaming things now. It's nice to be able to just go, <laughs> you know what? Surprise me. That is absolutely true. And then usually, too, even if it's a movie that you've seen before, it's a classic that you probably haven't seen on the big screen. So it's kind of like a win-win. Um, yeah, and then finally, I'd like to mention, too, there's a little theater I love. It's in Hamtramck. It's called The Film Lab. Uh, you can check out their stuff at thefilmlab.org. But they've been all month doing a uh, Nicolas Cage month where they've been uh, highlighting a lot of his films. This weekend, they still have uh, screening Mandy, which is like a crazy, bizarre film of his from recent years. And then also one of my favorite films from childhood, Face Off with Nick Cage and John Travolta. Those are playing uh, this weekend. Next week, they're uh, doing uh, like a Nick Cage trivia night. So there's always something going on at the Film Lab. Uh, and speaking of Imagine Theaters, if you're a football fan, I don't know if you like football, Kevin, uh, they're showing all of the playoff games on Imagine screens across the area. Oh, wow. So you could go watch your favorite team in a theater if you so choose. That's a great way to do it. Well, also, you know, I, I do want to talk more about uh, some of the award shows that are coming up. I know a lot of changes have been happening because of the pandemic. Can you tell us about some of the award shows coming up? Yeah, so, you know, every it's kind of later than usual. The Oscar nominations come out on Tuesday, February the 8th, and that's kind of the date everybody's been waiting for. It's kind of weird that it's, you know, because of things, the pandemic being pushed back uh, a little bit, you know, everything has been kind of pushed back. Or kind of know what's nominations come on the 8th that'll kind of set the stage for everything to come uh then you have next big award show after that is really the screen actors guild which right now is uh then there's the critics choice awards which was originally as sunday march 13th and then finally the are coming on march 27th that all of this is kind of up to what's going on in the world and if they can actually still have these right. events when they plan to. Everything getting pushed back. You know, even the Super Bowl with an added week. You were talking football, yeah. an added week in the season. Super Bowl yeah. is not until the middle of February, too. And now we're hearing all the kind of weird, yeah. Uh, yeah, information about the award shows coming out in, in February, too. So, hey, sure. Tom, say, tell you, thanks so much for being here. We always uh, appreciate you having you here every Friday. And uh, where can people go real quick if they want more information and get your reviews? Yeah, check out MovieShowPlus.com, my full review. There is a one-minute movie out this weekend called Parallel Mothers, starring Penelope Cruz. I have a review of that up on the website. But check out all my reviews and stuff at MovieShowPlus.com. All right, fantastic. Tom Santilli, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. You as well, Kevin. Thank you, man. Well, we're talking about the weekend.